Commissioner's Cup Finals. In the first two games, Coach Chito put Laput on Junmar. But he was absolutely killed by... I don't think it's a sustainable thing for Magnolia to put Sangalang on Fajardo. He's often made him one of the top prospects when he entered the league. Well, Russell, unfortunately, went through some injuries. But he's a guy who can... Uh, you're going to have a lot of open looks when you're playing with Junmar Fajardo. Good drive there from Paul Lee. Don't deal to take that in, crucial, in a crucial situation. Ross puts up a three, bang! It's gonna drop there to Junmar, CJ Perez with the open court. Wow. Oh, that's just too easy. When he's on Mark Baroka, it's up here. CJ, what nice flip inside. That will mean Paul Lee playing uh, a lot of minutes at the point. Look at that ball movement. A little bit too strong, trying to kiss it off the glass. Baroka will try to run. Nice look inside, Laput delivers. Back to Baroka. Paul Lee wide open. He'll misfire that time though. Sangalang. Or check that. They possibly can here. Nice sidestepping move. That's too easy for CJ. Misfire. But here is Big Mo inside. Mo Tatoa has also been a solid contributor for SMB. Mo Tatoa, Jerry Capus, Terence Romeo. They can start for any team. Yes, they can. Sangalang, though, is going to get away. Tatoa being a little gun shy here. Not even want to get into the paint or bang bodies. Junmar with a put back. Um, the injured list will definitely help for either squad. Face a double team, finds Junmar. Tatoa can hit this shot from the outside and does. Over so far this conference. And they have so far here in the first 12 minutes of play other squads absolutely and they have learned to adapt for magnolia marshall left wide open in the corner <laughs> it's just a matter of time mendoza is another one of those guys who can light it out from the outside the obu it's gonna drop there moto two are missing those free throws They've dug themselves in, the, in this hole by missing some makeable shots. Trotter will try to challenge. Well, he can ask the wrong individual. It's a three on two break. CJ Perez, sidestepping move, up and under shot. But he's just such a potent scorer, so you understand why he doesn't want to give it up. Jonisha will kiss it off the glass. To the wing once again. Ooh. Wow. Backward will shoulder a lot more in this game because of the absence of Gio Halalon, Baroka, and Paul Lee. Patrolliano's point so far here for the Kraken. They find Junisio. He'll go inside. Nice basket for me. Field goal percentage scorer. Once again, Terrence. Line up. And still with a hefty lead. Yep. Paul Lee from deep. High volume of three point attempts here. And you gotta put a stop to CJ Perez somehow. Wide open, Junisha, all day to shoot. Now they go inside. Fajardo now flexing his muscles. A lot of time still under shot clock. Marshall hits the deck. Ross left wide open. Bang! Junmar finds Brondial. Brondial flips it up and through. It's like that. Oh, and Chris Goss is hurt. He got hit. CJ Perez is going to lose it. And Barocco is going to score. 11 point lead for the mighty San Miguel Beerman. 